everybody. Today we are going over the FX Maverick. We're going to be showing how to adjust uh, both your first and your second regulator. Even though the uh, gun itself only has one re uh, regulator gauge in the back here, this is actually your tank gauge. This is reading your air supply pressure right here. So there is no regulator for this, uh, or no, there's no gauge for this first regulator that's right here. Your second regulator is on the other side about right here. I'll show that in just a second uh, when we flip the gun around. But in any case, uh, it, it's, it's going to be tricky how to show the regulator pressure for the first one. Uh, but it's an essential for tuning, so I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. Alright, so now we're here on the other side of the rifle. As you can see, here's the regulator. This is your second regulator. Your first one is on the underside of this right here. And this is your regulator pressure gauge. So this gauge right here is only reading this pressure at this moment. So, in order to get this gauge to read this regulator pressure, you have to open up this regulator fully so it's not regulating anymore. Basically, the air is just passing straight through it. Now, an important note to learn about this is not to over adjust this regulator screw right here. If you over adjust this regulator screw, you have the possibility of, of popping the o-ring that keeps it sealed and you're going to get a bad air leak from right there. You have to go in and replace that little tiny o-ring. It's a 2 by one NBR90, so it's very difficult to replace. So I'm going to zoom in here real fast. It's going to get probably a little bright. You can see what I mean by being in there. So right now, the regulator pressure is, let's get the phone in there. Oh, it's so low. It's about 100. So we're going to come back over here. And let me show you what proper adjustment is. So there's about 200 bar in this tank, so I've got plenty of air. You can probably hear the air filling up. And there you go, that's about maximum right there. About right there. You don't want the screw to uh, come out over flush from the face there. You want it just right there at the edge. You're going to be able to see the top thread. You're going to be able to grab the top thread with your fingernail. Just the top thread, but that's it. If you do any more than that, you're going to get a leak. All right, so now that this is fully adjusted, this pressure right here is being read at this gauge back here. So let's get the camera set up. And let's see, it is reading about 150 bar right now. So that's what the first regulator is reading. All right, so we are now on the underside of the gun. As you can see, the second regulator. And this is where your first regulator is. That's your hole right there for the adjustment. So if you need to adjust this up, you can now. You, uh, you don't want to adjust it down at this moment uh, because you're not going to get any reading back here. If you adjust this down, it's not going to read anything back here. Because the, it's still gonna, this right here will still be pressurized to this pressure, even if you adjust this down. But if you increase it, let's uh, let's get in here, let's turn it just counterclockwise. You can hear a little bit right there. I'm just gonna do a little bit of quarter turn, and now we can see that it's a little bit over 150 now. So, do some more right there, just to give a good example. So now it's like 180 or so, 175, 180. All right, so now we're gonna show how to get it back to normal. All right, so now in order to in order to decrease this pressure right here so that we can get back to the normal reading, let's say we want to keep it at 175. Uh, let, let's do a tune of uh, 175 up front and 140 in the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to degas the gun. That is done by simply removing the bottle.
All right. So one of the one of the regulators already bled out. I believe it was this regulator or this plenum right here. This plenum already bled out, but we still have this plenum charged. As we can see, there's still pressure on there. So we come back here. We're gonna take our Allen. You can take a dry fire shot. It's not recommended though. If you just barely crack this open, just I, I mean I just did the tiniest little turn. I mean I, I went like, like that, tiniest little turn, and now it's bleeding out. Now the rifle is completely depressurized. Uh, I did say originally I was going to keep this. Uh, I was going to keep this first regulator at 175. But for the sake of video, I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take this regulator down to 150, and take this regulator down to about 110 or so. So uh, the first reg is gonna read 150, and then the second one is gonna read 110. So we're gonna do this by turning this screw clockwise now to decrease the pressure. So stick my 2.5 in there. I'm gonna turn it clockwise a few turns. That way I know the pressure's been decreased. I'm not going to touch this one yet. So, you can regas it. I'm not even going to screw on the bottle all the way because I'm going to be taking off in just a second. Well, actually might. Alright, so... Bottles on pretty much all the way. Remember we backed out a couple turns on this. We didn't touch this, so this is still fully adjusted out. But look at this regulator pressure. It's at like 70 bar. That's because this one's fully open. It's just flowing, and it's this one that's down to 70. So I'm going to again take 2.5 and increase the first regulator. All right, so now I'm going to now I'm going to increase the pressure. And there we go. Now we're exactly at the 150 mark, right there. So now you may ask, well, now your second plenum is still all the way open. Well, that's true. So now we have to go, now we have to go back and remove the bottle again, degas it, go through that process again, and then lower that one. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back now. You can see the regular pressure is at zero. So we're now going to go back to our second reg here, and we're going to screw it in clockwise. And go to the bottom, and then back it out one turn. That should give us about 60 bar or so. And then we're going to regas. So let's see what we got. See how close that was. Oh, look at there! I'm pretty good. It was just about 60 bar, 60, 70 bar. So, now we can increase this by turning it counterclockwise. And we're going to take it up to uh, about 110, as I said, because our other regulator is at uh, uh, 150. So, 110 is basically putting, pointing at the second zero in the 100. That's a good marker of 110. So, there we go, right there. So there you have it, there's the FX Maverick, short little video. Um, again, what we went over was how to uh, properly set not only your first regular, but your second regular, and how to read the pressure of your first regular based off this gauge back here. And again, just as a recap, what you're gonna do throughout the whole process is you're gonna open up this regulator all the way to where that adjustment screw is flush with the top of the regulator. If you go over too far, it's gonna cause a leak. So just flush. What that's going to do is open up that regulator so this regulator is actually reading at this pressure gauge because this one is no longer regulating. Once you've done that, then you're going to set, if you want to increase, you can go ahead and increase this regulator. If you want to decrease it, you need to take the gas off the bottle, go in here, turn in the screw clockwise, regas the gun. What that's going to do is now read your pressure back here and you're going to increase it to what you want. Degas the gun again, back down that screw all the way, turn about one turn, one full turn out. That's going to give you about 60 bar once it's all the way down. 
regas the gun, and then turn this counterclockwise until the pressure you want. A good rule of thumb is about 40 bar in between the two, uh, between the two regulators. Alright, if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a good day.